always tracking. This is Next Weather. All right, weekend is here and it's going to be a steamer, no question. 85 degrees is what uh, the temperature is right now in Miami. It feels like 98 and that humidity is going to continue with us. We hit a record of 95 earlier this afternoon and another record in Fort Lauderdale. We'll be close to that for tomorrow and then we'll begin to get our change here going, but it's going to last all week in the heat and then we'll get the uh, much cooler temperatures on the way for next week. Current numbers here across South Florida. Next radar network, pretty quiet. We had a few showers hours and uh, some cloud cover earlier today that helped a little bit uh, giving us uh, some shade. But here's the setup here for tomorrow. A few morning showers, a few afternoon thunderstorms, but it's still going to be a record heat kind of day. And then we'll get close to that again as we get through Sunday. Sunday, the timing of the front uh, is a little questionable here. We may get uh, some showers earlier or later, but just plan ahead for another day where we're going to need uh, some umbrellas at, at some point uh, during the afternoon. And then the front dives down to the south and we are not going to be talking about rain for quite some time. Not only will it be record dry kind of setup here, but uh, coolest temperature since last spring. And in fact, we're going to have numbers here coming up on Tuesday morning that are more typical for January, not uh, you know this time of year, obviously in October, but uh, we won't complain, right? Low and then mid 60s by the middle part of the week. So it's just a little taste, uh, or maybe a little more than a taste of fall here across South Florida. There is the rainfall in the morning, not going to be anything torrential, but a few showers we'll have to deal with. And then in the afternoon, we'll transition with the heating of the day to some showers and thunderstorms, and we'll do that again as we head into a Sunday as well. You'll see rain tracker picking up on that and also the front that will continue to move down to the south. So the rain will progress from Broward to Dade and then down towards the Keys throughout the day as we then end it for Sunday night and heading into Monday. We'll get ready for the cool air. Tracking the tropics, a tropical storm Sean will dissipate uh, into an open low here, I think, by tomorrow. So we're not going to be dealing with Sean, but we do have this tropical weather wave across eastern Atlanta. It looks pretty healthy. Good 80% chance of this developing and I've been showing you this uh, on our uh, tracker here. Perhaps a tropical depression. Um, in fact, as an 80% 80 uh, chance of doing that as it approaches the lesser Antilles. After that, no uh, development here. This thing is just not going to uh, have the environment to be able to do anything more than just give the lesser Antilles some big rain. Rick Hurt and Slow, if you're making it a beach for uh, to a beach day for tomorrow, we're looking good on the water as well with no advisories, no alerts. So we are going to be sitting uh, nice here as we head through the afternoon. And if you are into the eclipse, right, this could be a partial eclipse for us. About 58% of the sun will be obscured. Problem is, it's going to be a lot of cloud cover for tomorrow, so you may miss it, but the peak is 133. And if there is sun out there, remember you want to use your protective sun gear here uh, as we uh, check in on the forecast. All right, rain chances for tomorrow still at 40%. We'll leave them there as we head through Sunday. And then the big change coming up. Look at the seven day forecast. We're skipping seasons here. Highs approaching, approaching 80 degrees by Tuesday and overnight temperatures chilly in the 60s with a few 50s for inland areas.